Hey everyone and welcome back to NDC. Today is a follow-up video for our ad mob video. This assumes that you have had your app on the app store and it has been approved and you're just looking on how to actually verify with Google the ownership. If you're curious on how to add ad mob to your iOS app before submitting it, you can check out the link in the description below or in the comment card in the video. So your app has been approved. Let's see how we can go through with the ad mob approval process. So first things first, you'll need to sign on in and you'll be taken to your dashboard. For me, it's asking me to first verify my app. You may also need to ensure that your account's been approved and or you've added a payment process. I believe that is through Google AdSense. Okay, so it's telling us to verify our app and it's gonna take us to our apps dashboard. You can see, find the app in the app list and click verify app. There's just a couple things we need to do first. In the top right, we have an app-ads.txt. This is going to be your unique code. And you can see there's even a nice little how to set up app-ads.txt. So if you click on this button, you will be given a code. And it's saying, hey, we need to use a code provided by the IAB Tech Lab. This essentially just means it needs to follow a certain format. Lucky for us, the link that it's providing us follows this exact format. If for whatever reason you're curious as to what that format is, it's essentially the domain followed by the publisher ID, then relationship, and then certificate ID, all separated by commas, and we have all four here. And it's giving us a little bit of a guide. Publish your app ads txt on the root of your developer website. So this would be the sample domain.com forward slash app dash ads dot txt. So you'll need a text file. So make sure you go ahead and copy this information. What you'll need to do next is on your developer page that's linked to the app store, you'll need to add it to your website directory. So in my case, mine is my github.io and you can see yesterday I did this. You can either create a, you can create a text file, the .txt extension on notepad or even text edit. The way I did it was I just added a new file within my website here on GitHub pages and I just call it app-ads.txt. From there, you would paste the contents commit the changes and you should be good to go. I'm not gonna commit it because I've already done it and I don't wanna you know, overwrite it. Now, if you're wondering what on earth is my developer account? Because when I'm submitting to App Store Connect, if we look, what is going on? Where is the developer URL? If I command F developer, I can't find a developer account. Well, they've just renamed it from the marketing URL to be the developer page. So whatever is found within your marketing URL, you need to have this domain slash apps.ads.txt with your unique code. Once you've done that, make sure you've updated it on GitHub. You know, you can either check by typing in the URL or wait about 10 minutes for GitHub pages. You'll then want to come to the app section. Now I've already added Gratitude Bestie here, but uh, let's select on this example here. You should have a shops and the add shop button. From here, you'll want to search for your app name, developer name, store ID, or URL. I would just go to your app information, scroll all the way down to the bottom. Under the additional information, view on App Store, you can actually just copy this link and paste it there. Once you've done that, it will take you to the Verify app. And if you don't have the developer, you'll probably get this bounce back where it's saying, we didn't find the developer website in your app listing, or it can't find the apps.txt. From there, you can check for the updates and it will force them to check again. In my case, I literally just put through a new update uh, to include that marketing URL because it tripped me up the first time, but I'll see you in just a moment. You can verify and see your developer website by going to your app listing on the app store, either through the app or on the browser, scrolling down, and you'll see some information. Then the developer website next to the app support and privacy policy. We can see it opens up my github.io. This is my favorite version where you refresh it and what happened is just blank. It happens, just give it some time, just be patient. And um, I would say maybe 20 minutes after you've made the update, it should be good to go. Five minutes later. There we go. Once we have waited, we will get a uh, email update for status. Now it does say it typically takes about two to three days and it might require more time to review for your app. So you should be good to go. If there's any issues, just like with the app store submission, 
they will let you know as to why, and they will rev and they'll notify you via the email on your AdMobs account once the review is complete. So just as a quick summary as we wrap up, where do you host those TXT wrappers? Your developer website, which is the marketing URL on App Store Connect. This is required. You can do so on GitHub Pages, Notion. Now Google also only reviews live apps, so you can't do anything with just test flight. So essentially any non-beta builds, wait until your app is visible on the App Store. If you're like me and just push through the update because you had to update the marketing URL because developer URL didn't feel like it made sense, tangent for another time, then wait about 10, 15 minutes after it's been updated and approved. If you later change that link in App Store Connect, you must re-verify with AdMob. The TXD token will remain valid, but tied to the old domain. So hopefully that helped you out. You should now have connected your published App Store app to Google AdMobs and verified your developer domain for ad review. Your next step is to wait for the status of your review and then you should be earning ad revenue from your application. Otherwise, dream big, code bigger, and we'll see you in the next one.